Good morning. Welcome to Santiago de Compostela Parish. We're very glad you're with us this morning. As I actually press the button today to bring our live stream people into our celebration, we're glad that you're here. Let us take a moment and let us greet each other. Today we celebrate Tuesday in the 24th week of Ordinary Time. Let us begin our celebration with song number 475, I Has Not Seen, number 475. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You raise the dead to life in the Spirit. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ eleison. Christ eleison. Bring light to those in darkness. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon us, O God, create and Lord of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy, grant that we may serve you with all our heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the end of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, as a body is one, though it has many parts, and all parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. For in one spirit, we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one spirit. Now the body is not a single part, but many. Now you are Christ's body and individually parts of it. Some people God has designated in the church to be first apostles, Second, prophets. Third, teachers. Then mighty deeds. Then gifts of healing, assistance, administration, 
and varieties of tongues. Are all apostles? Are all prophets? Are all teachers? Do all work mighty deeds? Do all have gifts of healing? Do all speak in tongues? Do all interpret? Strive eagerly for the greatest spiritual gifts. The word of the Lord. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful song. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Know that the Lord is God. He made us. His we are. His people, the flock he tends. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise. Give thanks to him. Bless his name. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. For he is good, the Lord, whose kindness endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Alleluia. 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 A great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus journeyed to a city called Naam, and his disciples and a large crowd accompanied him. As he drew near to the gate of the city, a man who had died was being carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow. A large crowd from the city was with her. When the Lord saw her, he was moved with pity for her and said to her, do not weep. He stepped forward and touched the coffin. And at this, the bearers halted. And he said, young man, I tell you, arise. The dead man sat up and began to speak. And Jesus gave him to his mother. Fear seized them all. And they glorified God, exclaiming, a great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. This report about him spread throughout the whole of Judea and in the surrounding region. The Gospel of the Lord. In the Gospels, there's only three times that we hear that Jesus brought somebody back to life who had died. It was the synagogue official who had the 12-year-old daughter. It was Lazarus, the brother of Martha and Mary, his friends in Bethany. And it was the story today of a, man, of a young man being restored to his mother who was a widow. Why only three? And why these three? You know, in our Mass today, at our Prayer of the Faithful, we're going to be praying for about four or five people who have, who have passed away. And we begin to wonder, well, Lord, if, why did you choose these three and not the people that maybe I know, the people that are close to me? Because each one of us, I'm sure, at one time or another, has experienced the loss of somebody close to them. Well, first we must realize we don't have the answer for that. But theologians have come up with several reasons that, that, that um, we've heard. First, most important, these three point out that Jesus 
does have the power over death. But the fact that it was these only three and not a major part of his ministry points out to us how that death is very much now a part of God's plan. Might not have been from the beginning, but is now. Each one of us here at some point will face the end of our existence here. And recognizing that is important to realize. Even the three people I mentioned, the young man in today's gospel and the other two, they all eventually died. It might have been a week later, a month later, a year later, 50 years later. But they also die. But we recognize that our existence does not die when we die here on this earth. Everything we do is temporary and will change. We heard in our first reading how Paul talked about how each one of us has a unique role in the body of Christ. And that doesn't just mean in the church. It doesn't just mean in church ministries. But it means in our whole lives. And, that, and also, each one of our roles change over our lives. I no longer change my children's diapers. They're all adults. I no longer have to take them on carpools or drop them off at school. We were joking before mass that I remember it used to be 6.56 a.m. is when high school started. And it was always this struggle to get high school. Don't have that anymore. But God continues to call each one of us to new roles and recognizing that each role we're in is important and that we should embrace that role knowing that ultimately we are called to life, to, to new life with Christ. Our psalm tells us that there's only one truth that doesn't change. That God, it, that the Lord is God. He made us. His we are. And we are the people, the flock, he shepherds. God shepherds us through life. God shepherds us through our earthly death. And God shepherds us to eternal life. In nine... Jesus consoled the widow and restored her dead son to life. May we have confidence in Jesus, who has the power to give life to the dead. Our response, Lord, comfort us in our sorrow. Lord, comfort us in our sorrow. That parents who grieve over their children who have gone astray, who suffer infirmities or who have died, may experience the comfort of the Lord and the help of those close to them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, comfort us in our sorrow. That like the widow of Nam, we who wept at the death of her son, may those who suffer receive help from the Lord in their sickness, in attending to the needs of their family, and in their helplessness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, comfort us in our sorrow. That those burdened by self-doubt, pessimism, and droopy spirit may draw comfort in Jesus who commanded the dead to arise and restored him to his mother. Let us pray to the Lord. And Lord, comfort us in our sorrow. That those who have been directly affected by the last worldwide pandemic, the sick, those who died, and family members who continue to mourn the loss of their loved ones, that they may experience the mercy of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, comfort us in our sorrow. That those who have gone to the sleep of death may wake up to the joy of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. For the intentions of 
San Diego de Compostela clergy and Santiago de Compostela staff, we pray to the Lord. Lord, comfort us in our sorrow. For the peaceful repose of Sandy Travis, we pray to the Lord. Lord, comfort us in our sorrow. For the intentions of Emily Unio, Peggy Greenrond, Catherine Marty, Ramiro Ries, Susan Hofnackel, we pray to the Lord. Lord, comfort us in our sorrow. For the sick, that they may find healing and health. Thomas Haas, Arcangelo Moren, Rico and Reza Casillas, Aurelia Lopez, Bruce Di Carlo, Johnny Blani, Alina Olinsky, Maggie Rosares, Ervi Perbrete, Lorenzo Moran, Par Boran, Amon Lopez, Beth Virani, Eddie Stockwell, Marta Moreno. We pray to the Lord. Lord, comfort us in our sorrow. And for the sorrows, Tomaso Ruiz, Blanca Leon, to rest in eternal peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, comfort us in our sorrow. Lord Jesus, console of those who mourn. You dried the tears of the widow of Nain, of the family of Jairus, and of the sisters of Lazarus. Comfort those who mourn for the dead, and come to the aid of all who suffer great loss. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. Look with favor on our supplications, O Lord, and in your kindness accept these your servants' offerings, that what each has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, a duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us a share in his fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself, and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. 
Therefore, he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him, he became the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and the archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Santos Dominus Deus Sabaos, Heni Suceni Utera, Gloria in Tuo, Hosanna in Esesis, Benedictus, qui venit in nomine Domini. Hosanna in excessis. You are indeed the holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to the disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring us to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Kevin our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray that to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Santiago de Compostela, and all the saints who have praised you throughout the ages, we may merge to be co-heirs of eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, our God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, allowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say your word, and my soul shall be healed. How precious is your mercy, O God. The children of men seek shelter in the shadow of your wings.
Let us pray. May the working of this heavenly gift, O Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies so that its effects and not our own desires may always prevail in us through Christ our Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou fruit in the womb, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Guardian of the Redeemer. Saint Michael the Archangel, and as a battle, pray for affliction and The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Amen. Thanks be to God. And let us go forth singing number 480, Shepherd Me, O God. Shepherd me.